Hello and welcome to this advanced course covering AWS subnets and routing within a VPC, a virtual private cloud. Throughout this course, I shall deep dive on both topics, looking at how each are used within a single and multiple VPC configuration, and also in conjunction with on-premise connectivity across a VPN. Before we start, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Stuart Scott. I am one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specializing in AWS, Amazon Web Services. Feel free to connect with me with any questions using the details shown on screen. Alternatively, you can always get in touch with us here at Cloud Academy using the community forum where one of our cloud experts will reply to your question. This course has been designed for engineers who are responsible for designing, configuring and implementing AWS virtual private clouds. Also, for anyone performing network configuration within AWS and on-premise solutions, also, if you are connecting and configuring a hybrid cloud solution using AWS. And it's also for those who are network administrators and network architects, and those wishing to take the Certified Advanced Networking Specialty Certification. Throughout this course, I shall be focusing on VPC subnets and routing, and breaking each of these components down into the following lectures. Starting with VPC CIDR blocks, this lecture focuses on the effect of subnetting your VPC CIDR block. Then I'll look at why you should subnet your VPC. Here I'll look at some of the reasons that you might want to do this by looking at the advantages and benefits. Then we'll look at VPC subnets and this lecture dives into what a VPC subnet looks like within the management console and its associated components such as network access control lists. Next we'll look at VPC peering and its subnet considerations. This lecture focuses on some of the considerations when architecting your subnets in different VPC peering configurations. Following this, we'll look at flow logs, and here I take a look at how to monitor the ingress and egress network traffic of each of your VPC subnets using flow logs. And to round up the subnet section, I'll create a VPC in a number of subnets via a demonstration. Following those lectures covering subnets, I will then look into AWS routing. And here I'll cover routing fundamentals and route tables. And this lecture introduces AWS routing and its routing tables by breaking down all the components within it. Next, we'll look at routing priorities. And here I will explain how the routing priorities are defined for overlapping routes within the same route table. Next, we'll look at a number of routing configurations, starting with VPC peering. And this lecture looks at the different routing configs for multiple VPC peering scenarios. And then we'll do the same for VPN connectivity via a virtual private gateway. And then following this, we'll look at some more routing configurations that are used by internet gateways and NAT gateways and the different dependencies involved here. And then lastly, with regards to routing configurations, we'll look at VPC endpoints. And this lecture looks at the automatic routing configuration when creating a VPC endpoint. Once you have completed this course, you will be able to design and implement an effective subnet structure within your VPCs, ensuring they meet specific requirements for your solutions. You will understand the differences between public and private subnets, and you will have the ability to architect successful routing configurations for your different VPC designs for both internal and external connectivity options. And you will have an awareness of different VPC gateways for external connectivity. There are a number of prerequisites for this course, and as this course is not a beginner's course to AWS, it assumes you have a basic understanding of some of the AWS services, specifically to do with a VPC. You should also have a basic understanding of network infrastructure and AWS connectivity, including a basic level understanding of IPv4 and VPNs. You should also have a basic awareness of common protocols and IP addressing, and a basic awareness of VPC peering and VPC endpoints. Feedback on our courses here at Cloud Academy are valuable to both us as trainers and any students looking to take the same course in the future. If you have any feedback, positive or negative, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use the comments section found on the landing page of this course. That brings us to the end of this lecture. Coming up next, we start off by looking at VPC CIDR block ranges.